Well, welcome to my videos on LaTeX, how to make a quick start and use it for style and finesse. Now I'm going to work largely off my desktop, which is over here. And the discussion, all the core materials are at this website. So go to that for the web pages that you'll see. So the first question to address is why LaTeX? The answer is it's arguably the premier typesetting package in the world. The two principal architectures of LaTeX, North and Lamport have distilled for us the accumulated wisdom of generations of printers. And this is in contrast to many other software packages. So why take my advice? Well, here I distill for you the recommendations that I've made from over 30 years experience of both use and I will admit abuse of LaTeX. Um, most importantly, it's not just me. I'm the founding editor of the electronic part of the ANZIAM journal and over two decades, I've copied, edited thousands of LaTeX articles by hundreds of mathematicians and engineers. And from this experience, I've distilled for you the core flexible LaTeX methods that will serve you well. And the most important thing to remember is to use LaTeX logically. Further, I've done a lot of re reading over the decades. So these recommendations are also depend upon um, many authors of writing and typesetting skills, including books by Hyam, Strunk, Brass, Zobel, Anderson, Wielden, North, Lamport, Gratzer, and the Australian Government Style Manual. So let's scroll down. LaTeX has many strengths. That's why it's the premier package after all. What are they? Well, it typesets documents with line and page breaks designed to maximize readability and appeal by avoiding as far as possible poor breaks and hyphenation. Note, it's maximizing readability for the reader. Now, what happens is the defaults of LaTeX implement best practice for readers' comprehension of your material. No, the distinction. It's not about what you think best. It's about what is best in general for your readers. And that's a different thing. Um, you can read some of these best practices in Wendy Priestley's article on instructional typographies using desktop publishing techniques, which is freely available on the web. And where's the abstract? Okay. Right, so just go there, download the PDF. Now, LaTeX is generally recognized as one of the best packages. So for example, Herbert Wolf said it can print virtually anything that comes into your mind and print it beautifully. But you have to work with LaTeX, not against it. It's another strength. LaTeX is free for virtually every computer in the world. You just download the software from the CTAN site, install it and away you go. And you don't even have to download and install it. A way to start that may be good for you is simply to use the free online service Overleaf, which you can sign up for and type things into there. I don't recommend it for long-term use. Um, however, many people like it. So it just depends. And I'll tell you more about that a bit later. Um, 
right so go to this website you can register and start using LaTeX essentially you just type in on the left side of the window and the typeset document appears in the right side of the window okay LaTeX is portable another strength if you stick to the standard commands then everyone can read and exchange documents and importantly even the future you just remember it's not just you now years to come you may well need the LaTeX that you write now and modify it you can do that with LaTeX in other packages you cannot so for example the very first book I published the typesetting is done in LaTeX the graphs were drawn in Microsoft draw within a year of publication of the book Microsoft uh, abandoned supporting that draw format and all of those figures had been were lost to me you know that's the danger of using a package that does not store stuff in an open standard LaTeX is standard okay your source file not only is it standard it's just purely alphanumeric so that you, anybody can read the source. You can be posted by email, no problems. The logical nature of LaTeX, remember what I said, use it logically. It empowers easy generation of many different manifestations of the content. You can use the one source to generate a style that you like to read, your colleague can use the same source to generate a style that your colleague likes to read. You can use the same source to generate slides for seminars, for the particular style of a journal, for generating abbreviated versions for students or to other formats. Among the strengths is the only weakness that I'm aware of. LaTeX is not WYSIWYG. And this can be a problem because almost everybody is trained at school in a point and click what you see is what you get manner so to use latex effectively you have to abandon that and that can be very painful so i'm sorry about that but the pain is worth it okay one of the first thing to remember so this would be the second is that the x in latex or tech is pronounced as a hard K, as in tech, it is not a soft X sound. Right. If you don't pronounce it wrongly, people you talk to uh, won't take you seriously on a tech issue. Now, in the discussion uh, we're going to have here, it's not possible to include everything you might need to know. Subsequently, refer to more complete references. The most important thing is to use. The sort of philosophy and principles I describe in what you read and how you interpret what you read and then implement. Um, one of the things I found very useful over the time and you can download is a LaTeX 2E reference suitable for browsing or searching. Mostly I access things by the index. It's mostly useful because I know there's a command, but I can't quite remember the order of the commands. Is it this way or that way, or how many commands? Just go to this site guide and it will tell you. So, for example, um, picture command. Might not remember in full, but this is the format. All right, you have to do begin picture, then you a couple of commands of the width and the height off a couple of commands for the offset, then stuff in picture. And it's I've got that quick summary for all sorts of things. So I find that very useful. Now, I present this discussion as if you have not used LaTeX before. So hopefully that addresses uh, a lot of you. However, many of you will have used LaTeX and will know how to generate a range of documents. I urge you to nonetheless still pay attention because my aim for those 
is to re-synthesize your knowledge into a more powerful framework. Generally, when you learn LaTeX, you sort of follow a diffusion limited aggregation. You learn a few things to get started, then you need to do something else and you ask someone. So that gives you a, a new skill here. You need to learn something. So you look it up on the web and you get a new, a new um, recipe to, that pops on here and then another recipe from somewhere else. And it just grows at, by aggregation. Um, this leads to a technique, set of techniques you can use, but they're not founded on a solid foundation. So I, I hope you can re-synthesize what you know. Okay, so what we're going to look at is a quick start. Environments, cross-referencing, some mathematics, how to draw and organize figures and tables, a bit on style and seminars, and that's the main core. Uh, there are some other useful information sources which I point out here, but we won't go to them in this introduction. So I'll stop the video here and ready for starting on the other content.